Well, firstly, let me thank you all for your time. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to uh, present this technology to you today. Uh, my name is John Nelson. I'm the sales manager for measurement and analyzer products here in the UK. Um, and under that umbrella, I also look after our wastewater business. Uh, my colleague is here as well, Heli Karelia. She is the business manager for wastewater globally. So, if we look at Valmet in brief, some of you may not know this company. Um, we're a global company. Most of our um, business is done in the pulp and paper and power industry, but we do have some certain products that can be used in the wastewater industry as well. Um, which of these products are what we're going to talk about today. Um, we've got 13,000 people globally. Um, we try to be close to our customers, so most industrial uh, countries have uh, representation by Valmet there. Uh, net sales in 2008 was about 3 billion euros globally. So what we're going to talk about today is technology within the um, wastewater uh, treatment process. We have lots of technologies available to measure solids throughout the process. Um, but what we're going to focus on today is the dewatering area of the process, so the, um, the centrifuge area. And here we have some very unique measurement technology where we can measure the solids going into the centrifuge, the solids coming out of the centrifuge in the dry cake, and also the centrate water from the centrifuge. Um, we have a lot of experience in measuring solids from our pulp and paper background. In that industry, we've been using our technology to, for 40 years plus, and we've now developed it into the uh, wastewater treatment industry. On top of that, we also have some clever controls we use within the pulp and paper industry. So we have multi-variable controllers in that industry. And we've also developed that so we can optimize and control the centrifuge uh, in the wastewater process. So if you look at the system overall, it's, as I mentioned before, it's a combination of measurements and controls. So we have solids measurements around the centrifuge, incoming, dry cake and centrate. And then we also have a control package with multivariable controller to optimize the centrifuge by automatically changing the centrifuge set points for uh, polymer dosing, torque and also <laughs> mass flow to the uh, centrifuge. So let's look a little bit at the, the technology itself. So this is the measurement technology. Here we're looking at a product called Varmet TS. This is designed to measure right through the wastewater process um, from primary thickening right through to um, centrifuge. Um, wide measurement range, so we can measure from 0 to 40% total solids with this device. It's normally installed on the inlet of the centrifuge in this application. But we can also, because we can measure quite high solids here as well, we can also measure in the dry cake area of the centrifuge if you are pumping the dry cake through a pipe. Um, very simple device. We use a time of flight um, method, for microwave measurement time of flight. So what we're measuring is the speed that the microwave passes across a pipe. Um, and that is, has a linear correlation to the amount of solids in the pipe. Therefore, we can generally use a single point calibration for this unit. And there's no moving parts in there, so maintenance is very low. Um, there's no regular maintenance required. And in some applications, there can be quite a buildup of fat in the process. So there we, we, we can have a glass lining um, version to be installed. That is usually, though, at the beginning of the process where we're looking at primary clarifiers. That's where the fat buildup normally happens. So we have a glass line version for that. If we look at the second technology, this is the Valmet LS. This is designed specifically to measure from the centrate uh, area of the centrifuge. So we're now measuring the, the filtrate coming from the bottom of the centrifuge. Um, we can measure up to 0.5% total solids here. Um, and this is an optical measure, method of measuring. We use LED light sources to give us three um, different light phenomena. So we're looking at backscattering, absorption and depolarization and we find that those three uh, combinations of signals gives a good calibration uh, against uh, centrate. Um, the main problem with the centrate measurement though is that the sample is very bad. Um, there's a lot of air in the sample, lots of debris in the sample, and lots of air in the sample as well. So we have problems with dirt buildup, we have problems with air, and we have problems with debris. And the Valmet Ellis is supplied as standard with deaeration included, it's supplied a standard with screening included, so we're taking the debris out 
and it's supplied with automatic flushing included as well. So we are always cleaning the measurement system all the time. During the cleaning cycle, we add chemical, so we keep the system as clean as possible. When we're also flushing the system, we are measuring the integrity of the light signal through water. So if the cell does start to become a bit dirty, there's a warning given to the operator uh, that action's required. So if we look at the Valmet DS, this is the third type of technology we, we employ around the centrifuge. Now this is designed to measure the solids in falling cake flow. So it can be installed directly on the outlet of the centrifuge, underneath the centrifuge, or anywhere where there is conveyed sludge that's falling between conveyors. And this device sits inside the pipe. Um, the sludge falls onto this, so this part's inside the pipe, or inside the silo, I should say. This sludge drops onto here, it's taken through into the unit, dropped and pushed back through, and it's measured here using a microwave method of measurement. So what we can give here is a continuous dry cake measurement uh, on the outlet of the centrifuge. Very unique, we don't believe there's any other technology on the market that can, can do this measurement. So now if we look at the control package, um, when you're controlling the centrifuge, there's, there's two variables that need to be controlled, one being polymer dosing, the other being torque. So our system is capable of automatically manipulating those variables using set points. The problem with this application, when you're looking at manual control, is that adjusting the polymer and adjusting the torque doesn't have the same effect on what's happening in the centrifuge. So, for example, increasing polymer decreases the centrate total solids, but increases the dry cake. If you increase the torque, it tends to increase both the dry cake and the centrate total solids. So that's very difficult to control manually. Um, for this, we use a multivariable controller so we can optimise the centrifuge 24-7. If you look at the system itself, it's possible to start very small with the Valmet SDO, so the, the measurements and the controls. So we can start off small by just measuring the, the inlet to the centrifuge solids and then the flow into the centrifuge along with our control application. Here we can now um, control the solids dosing into the centrifuge as well as the, uh, sorry, the polymer dosing into the centrifuge as well as the mass flow. So we're controlling the polymer based on the solids level and also we're controlling the mass flow into the centrifuge. The next step could be that we add another measurement here, which is uh, Valmet LS. So now we're measuring centrate as well. So now in addition to um, controlling the mass flow into the centrifuge, we are now using the actual centrate value to give feedback for the polymer control. So we're actually seeing now what the polymer is doing to the centrate. And this is all handled automatically by the control application. The next step could, could be that we don't have a centri centrate measurement, but we do have a dry cake measurement. Now we are controlling the mass flow as before. We're also controlling the polymer dosing based on the solids, but now we can manipulate the torque value as well automatically so you can optimise the dry cake um, at the end of the, the centrifuge. Now if you look at the full system, now we have all the measurements before, after, centrate and, and flow. Now we can control everything. We can control mass flow to the centrifuge, we can uh, control the polymer dosing into the sludge flow and we can control the torque using, and we, can, we control the torque and the polymer dosing using the multivariable controller. And the idea being that 24-7 you're optimising, keeping the polymer to a minimum, you're keeping the centrate to the minimum, and you are keeping the dry cake solids as high as possible or within a certain process window. So as I mentioned before, you can apply the SDO in steps, so you can start small and go big. And of course there are benefits uh, of performance improvements to be made by just installing measurements, because it gives a window into the process for the operator to make better uh, decisions. But if you install the full package, then you can get the benefits of all the, all the measurements and also the full multivariable controller to optimise the centrate level, polymer dosing and, and the uh, dry cake as well. And all of this is designed to run 24-7 um, to control the centrifuge in the optimal condition. So usually when we start a SDO project, um, we first look at what the, the payback would be. And we have this tool called the uh, 
the uh, retur retur return on investment tool. And here we can sit down with, with yourselves and look at what your costs are, um, include the cost of the equipment, and then come up with a um, uh, saving, annual saving based on good data. And in this case, which was Tampere Wastewater in Finland, it's one of our, our reference uh, sites. At the beginning of the project, we, we came up with a saving of around £84,000 per year uh, in total. Now, if the project gets goes to the next stage, then now we're looking at installing the measurements. And it's very important that the measurements are working. So we, ha we go into a verification uh, period for the measurements. This is two months, but it can be whatever you want it to be. And as you can see, over this two-month period, the technology was working well against laboratory. So the customer was very happy with the performance of the measurements. And because of that, we were now able to move on to the next stage of the project, which is to implement the control, the multivariable controls. So this case was a full SDO system, all the measurements and the controls. Um, and they came up with a saving, an annual saving of around 121,000 pounds per year, that's what they um, saved in the first year and actually in the second year they, they increased that figure because they learned how to run the centrifuge better. Savings came from um, reduction in the solids in the centrate water going back to the head of the works, um, reduced the polymer by around 40% so savings came from that and the biggest saving was actually in transport costs where they improved the dry cake by one, one and a half percentage point, something like that and they had a big saving that came from that. So around 121,000. So against our return on investment, our return on investment calculation was actually quite conservative in, in this case. They, they, they achieved much better savings than, than they thought they could. So let's just to summarize briefly, um, what does Varmet offer? Well, we have a multivariable controller, which is unique to the wastewater industry. Um, we couple that with measurements around the centrifuge where we have the full measurement portfolio available and the coupling of those measurements and controls gives a unique uh, optimization solution. We have references around the world. We have five Varmit SDO references already globally. Um, more than a thousand Varmit TS installations and tens of Varmit LS and DS um, solutions. So the technology is there, it is being used by customers. Our customers have shown documented savings, the, the figures from a real, real, uh, real life case. Um, and we already have a global sales network and service support network. We are in every industrial uh, country and we're able to support our customers at, at point of sale. Um, what we're really looking for today is we do have five SDO references, um, but we would of course like to grow that. Um, so what we really, really would like from yourselves is to start a conversation with you about sites where you may be having issues with operational costs around the centrifuge, where we can sit down with you, maybe come up with a return in investment and see if there's any way we can flexibly move um, forward into a, a, um, a uh, project um, using this SDO technology. So that's really everything I wanted to, to say today. Um, I have my colleague Heli here, who, as mentioned before, is the business manager for uh, wastewater, and we're, we're happy to take any questions or comments that you, you may have. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time and listening to me.